so let's see here first one out uh per perpetua so this is about authenticity are you living a life of truth are you hidden um maybe keeping yourself hidden hidden from truth uh this is definitely that sense of taking control of yourself and all the circumstances that surround you so what have you learned from your past lessons your last cycles that you've been in do you continue to hold on to those cycles is it because you're not giving yourself the chance at authenticity that's that's what it's asking you okay and then you have um the white buffalo cali woman so this is that sacred energy that allows healing and that sense of protection for you um this also uh, is that kind of card of forgiveness uh, maybe you need to dig deep to forgive yourself for what you've done to others maybe this is where you have to release what others have done to you uh, maybe this is where you start to see things on a more authentic kind of pattern that allows you to forgive and live authentically okay and then you have um the oh i'll mess up her name Th thilsa thilsa so this is really about your true power that you hold on the inside this gives you that free will to change it gives you that sense of a, a, a spark of hope maybe this is faith uh, this is, allows you to move from place to place and knowing that you are your own um this is really powerful in that sense of raw like raw meaning ra this is where you come into your true power okay uh, and then you have the my bago so this is a warrior saint this is really about what are you standing up for standing up for the things that you love um this is about your devotions and things that you are attracting to yourself uh, are you supporting others um this is that question whether are you fighting enough for who you truly want to be and are your devotions really helping you or are they sort of diluting who you can be you know and guys because there's females on here it doesn't mean it's not it's not for men it's these energy readings are for men and women okay um so i definitely do feel like there's this sort of energy that's coming to the surface um that you're having to deal with things that maybe were very hard for you to deal with okay um let's see at the top of the deck you have the saraswati so this is beautiful because saraswati gives you that sense of energy that you can learn things if you're struggling if you're a student you would call on saraswati to help you to understand something that maybe you just don't know or never gave the time or opportunity to maybe invest in okay so this is really where you start to create things effortlessly because you've allowed yourself to learn. So are you in this sort of new kind of cycle of learning things? Maybe things that you've got to let go of the past if you weren't living authentic, you know, and really hold on to your true power standing up for you. OK, the bottom of the deck and this is the underlying energy. So, um, oh, boy, these names are hard for me. Um, I'm not a good reader as far as english but i'm good at reading cards so magish labarn okay so this is about um really seeing the light um in darkness you know in the world there's a lot of darkness right now and this is all needed to sort of come to the surface so that you can acknowledge it and then when you acknowledge it you sort of either forgive it or you understand it and it allows you to move forward and you do this with your beliefs um, you should never be sort of contained in that sense where you don't allow yourself freedom or expression or expansion, that kind of thing. Um, so this is where you have to face your ego and believe things so that you can be free. You're, you're, it's very much what I hear is the truth will set you free. And see, there is love here. So is that self-love for yourself? Is that for you helping others? Is this for healing the planet? Whatever that is, it's causing you to sort of um, just be able to see through darkness. And you might feel the energy right now. It's upside down. It goes back and forth and up and down and maybe crying and 
that kind of feeling it's almost like you sort of have to shed those kind of emotions to allow this new change to happen for you whatever that might be for you so take it as it resonates for you today i will go a little deeper and see what these mean for you guys so welcome i hope everybody's doing well i hope your mind is clear of the clutter that is being thrown at you because there is a lot of distraction from what the authentic things are okay um and it's something that's been happening for a long time but maybe you're discovering it now maybe this is where you stand up and you fight for your your freedom or your like expression or whatever it is that you want to go towards okay no one else should control that you should control it okay you're born with that so perpetua okay um everything you should do should Everything you do should have a purpose, you know, um, and be authentic. And really how you can get to that point of being authentic for yourself is to really look in the past and see what kind of patterns you've been holding on to. OK, uh, a lot of knowledge is coming up right now uh, as far as intuition, premonitions, um, seeing visions. And maybe you're thinking, oh, this is weird. You know, I've never had this kind of thing. Well, the the earth is really trying to shift into that more light being kind of energy okay so you got the page of wands um this could be that cause of needing to speak up maybe there's a message or some kind of feeling that you're feeling that pushes you forward okay maybe this is communication coming in from um, a source or uh, a person or a situation that you've been waiting for to happen okay this is good news actually um and then the wheel of fortune so see you're on this path to go towards new things to go towards the things that you want to start the new chapters and maybe there's a little fear <clears throat> maybe you have been shedding some kind of tears for the old cycles is it because you've done them wrong there's no such thing as wrong guys there's that thing of learning from your mistakes but it's not wrong you know so maybe this is what we're having a hard time really letting go of um, as far as being able to start new chapters, we're sort of still stuck to the old paradigm. And Spirit's really trying to change that for us. Wheel of Fortune is a great card because there's a new beginning that's coming. And it's very abundant. Is it abundant in love? Is it abundant in money? Is it that sense of you can start up and, and start your own career or your own business or whatever this, this push is, you know? This is really pushing you to be authentic. What is the Ace of Pentacles? Ace of Pentacles. So some sort of gift is coming. Um, so this is where you sort of have to let go of that shady energy from the past. Okay. It may be holding holding you back from your happiness with the Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. But with the Ace of Pentacles, it's a choice. So the choice that is being somewhat presented to you is something where it allows you to get out of some kind of shady um situation cheating lying stealing manipulative not being honest to yourself not living by what your soul is really calling you to do okay there's many different things for different people so take take it as it resonates for you but this sort of energy here is trying to happen for you so that you can balance out the good and the bad okay um we all have the positive and the negative energies inside of us it's just really what you choose to go forward with, okay? And I do feel the chariot is bringing some kind of balance to someone that allows them to have that freedom, to have some sort of success. Uh, there's a new opportunity coming here, whether it's for you or for your person or, or somebody you know, there is that sense of having some kind of victory and balance and a freedom um, and perhaps something not holding you back that is the good news that's coming okay what is the page of wands page of wands please <clears throat> the page of wands so very good so this is reaping what you sow with the seven of pentacles and the knight of swords it's taking action on those things that you want to make happen the things that want to come to fruition perhaps the things that haven't grown for quite some time and have been put in the back burner are now being put to the front burner and you're able to sort of feel this kind of passion and this excitement to go forward um the card that we're we're really uh clarifying is how to be authentic for yourself so 
Have you not picked from that vine because you're satisfying others? Um, are you being complacent? Are you being told what to do? And in actuality, you're born free. You're not born to somewhat be smothered or confined or... And I think that that is what's happening as part of the world. It's, it's evolving. And I think that some of us are discovering that maybe there's something out there that's, you know, a little different. Um, this pulls you to this victory and success, meaning you're getting yourself out of trickery. Is it because you've been withholding yourself or is it another another um, person or the situation or environmental or community standards that are making you sort of feel like you're blocked? Okay, so what they're telling me is this blockage is somewhat in your mindset. You can get yourself out of it. And I do feel like whether this is you or your person, there's this change of choosing, okay? And that choosing gives you that freedom to really take charge in whatever whatever the situation is for you, okay? Um, maybe this is happiness. Maybe you've been holding out to you finding that happiness or that home or that family or that person that makes you feel happy, Okay. What is the white buffalo Cali woman? And that's about healing. So you're going to get some sort of message of somebody healing. Um, perhaps somebody giving you an offer or uh, some sort of invite or a gift. Um, I definitely do see motion here with the page of wands, the page of cups, the knight of swords. It's almost as if you're, you're tired of holding yourself back from whatever this thing is, whether it's that new relationship, whether it's that happiness in the home, whether it's mending things that, you know, have happened either at work or family or in love, whatever that is, there's that sense of just healing from it. And you will get word of it. Okay, with the Page of Cups. What's the Page of Cups? Um, see, and oh, I was just going to say before the Knight of Cups came out, there is someone coming to you and going to give you this happy news. Or maybe it is that love offer. Have you balanced yourself out? enough to go towards the person you love or towards the situation that you love there is something coming in these both of these cards denote some sort of vulnerability some sort of healing gesture some kind of apology or something heartfelt okay it's something that is heartfelt with the white buffalo woman cali woman very nice um i want to know what is the knight of cups knight of cups and the two of swords it's because somebody's able to see out of this kind of confusion or uh, stagnation i feel like this is a person who's healing out of um you know being compliant and somewhat um not really following intuition almost like being led by the blind is what i see um but i think you're seeing the difference as far as you can make your own choice to make things happier so I think that that is the healing in the sense where you are really allowing um, the path of love to sort of guide you towards abundance, okay, uh, for whoever this is. I want to know what is te Tesla, te Theocla, Theocla. It's, it's about power, your true power. So your true power has been smothered by somewhat um, blocking energy, maybe you know you just feel stagnant you feel like you can't endure anymore you feel as if everything ha that has gone wrong was going to go wrong but this is that moment where you realize you have inner power to get out of this ten of swords and this eight of swords energy um i think that this is what happens when you've been in thought for, for too long and eventually there's this epiphany that shifts you out of this thinking and it shifts you into taking action breaking free um because the chariot is very strong in this reading in that sense of learning the good and the bad um balancing so it has a lot of things happen a lot of things have happened to you that maybe betrayed your trust or um to the point where you became like doormat kind of energy you know uh and it's very controlling here with the eight of swords but whatever this is it's been manipulative to you in that sense of the way whatever it is that the situation manipulated you into thinking 
that you're blocked into thinking that you have no choice, no other choice to take. This is going to go away, okay? Um, this is where you find that true power and you sort of break free from something that's been very stagnant and somewhat, um, oh, I think hard, um, you know, betrayal. Um, a lot of truth is coming to the surface as far as environmental things. Um, and it's very shocking, I guess, to some, okay? Um, maybe this is that karmic pattern that you've been stuck in for so long and is it because you're appeasing others and you're not really doing what it is that you want to do? It's almost as if you, you want to break free from that and maybe escape from that kind of pattern. Um, what's the Eight of Swords? I think you're mastering your mind here for whoever this is. And that is a healthier, sort of clear kind of uh, way of way of thinking, way of doing things, way of choosing. It, it's very clear, Okay. Whoever this is, they've been thinking about it for a long time. So there you have the Five of Cups and the Five of Wands. So even though they're fives, they're very hard to get out of, but they really shouldn't be. It's whatever you're holding, whatever you're holding down. Um, it's like whatever you choose to sort of control you, it, it's weighing you down. Okay, that's that's pretty much how I can say it. You got the five of wands and the five of pentacles so with the five of wands is this the people in your life that you're choosing to maybe get you riled up or sort of keep you in conflict is it the loss that you've been enduring in the sense of victim mentality kind of thing that everything happens to you or is this have you lost money and you're really really um sort of struggling because you've got a family or people that are sort of relying on you um this is really where you have to take control of you okay um i think that that is the controlling energy right there um not not really fighting and standing up to break free from this kind of stuff maybe you have your blinders on and you can't see uh, but your soul is very much trying to wake you up to go towards a different situation is what i see um, what is the five of pentacles? Have you lost money and you're scared to move forward from that loss? Um, five of pentacles, please. Five of pentacles. You got to use your own power to move away from that. See? So what you have thought that has just put you down to the very bottom, meaning you can't escape it. You can't elude it. Like it won't change for you. You'll always be at loss. Whatever that is for you. It's on the way out. With the three of wands, it's on the way out. Okay, so I do feel you're taking back your power. I do feel like you're taking your sense of direction um, and you're being guided to maybe leave some kind of things behind that don't allow you to get your manifestations to come in. With this three of wand, this is patience. This is that sense of not giving up on that on that focus whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish um this is where everything starts manifesting for you and your 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 ship comes in for you um so if you've been lacking money i see money coming in especially with the wheel of fortune and the ace of pentacles so if you're being sort of led to go out on your own and start your own and um your own work your own business this is that time to do it. You will be successful, okay? Uh, if you've lost friends, family, whatever, there's that healing. You're 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 sort of healing from it, okay? Five of Wands. So see, standing up. You're standing up against opposing energies. Opposing energies could be in a marriage. It could be in at work. It could be in the environment, in your community, the social standings. It could be that you're just not listening anymore and you're following your intuition and you're standing up and you're fighting back for something. So that is the beauty of that card where there's a lot of negativity that you've held on to, but that negativity has smothered your free will. And so what God is trying to do right now is to sort of wake you up and say, you can fight this. This is not what it's supposed to be. It's not true. It's not authentic. So are you questioning things? Are you seeing things different now? Um, this is that time to rise up and really stand up for your valor. 
what is it that you want do you want to be suppressed do you want to be in stagnation do you want to keep binded really stay binded to something that is negative okay is that materialism is that the worry about money is that the lack of love um <clears throat> yeah wow um what is the my bago okay so this is where um you know you have to sort of lay those wands down um this is about that warrior spirit that you have on the inside and you might be devoting yourself to the wrong thing and it's causing a lot of stress with the ten of wands and what spirit's really trying to do is to end that ten of wands you know put those those responsibilities that are not yours put them down you can't control others um but maybe you've been under this sort of um control of others does that make sense like if you don't control your own soul and your own mind, someone else will. Are you discovering that someone else has been controlling you in a manipulative manner? Okay, this is laying down those wands. Are you not making money um, where you're working? This is where you lay down that wand and you go out, either send that resume or start looking for another job or create your own job. Okay, um, and trust me, I've done it multiple times and you can, you can pull something out of nothing it's just what you put into it um so you're leaving that difficult situation that's beautiful you got the six of swords you're leaving that oppressive state with the ten of swords ten of wands and the six of swords okay you're healing remember we talked about healing here is this from a third party situation is this from wasting your time and being separated from that situation that you want to be in it's it's pertaining to heart okay is it love? Is it you've been in depression for so long? You're ready to get out of that. You're you're whatever this is, you've been sort of discombobulated and somewhat separated from what you truly want. So this is the healing of it. OK, um, maybe this is that separation or that third party interference that you've been having. It's sort of going away. OK, and the moon. So fear, um, fear of intimacy, fear of um vulnerability uh these fears are being projected onto you so that you can change them and i do see change coming with the moon and you might be holding on to a lot of fear at this moment but it is going to change for the positive is what they're saying okay what is the moon what is the moon please it, i think that the fear is that you got to stand up to people here with the five of of wands is it because you're going to lose out in family or you think your family's not going to back you or is it your children that you're worried about um are you ready to live in fear for the rest of your life or are you ready to change it whoever this is they're they're weighing the pros and the cons up and down and i don't feel they want to stay in that situation because look at they're learning um whether this is learning that intuition or that authenticity or learning how to forgive whatever this is that's going on in your life be patient because you are moving yourself out of it okay either you or your person so i do feel this is that warrior spirit that warrior spirit of standing up fighting back for what you love and it takes a lot of new lessons to really help you get through it what i mean by new lessons is learning the new skills and this new skills may come in that premonition that i'm talking about where you don't deny yourself your feelings where you don't deny the visions that you're seeing or the dreams or the signs or the thing that that we sort of been distracted from you know um give me one more okay so keep working keep working on yourself build that stronger core for you and by doing this you're getting a second chance at life really at, at a happy life versus a life that is being controlled and manipulative uh to you Okay, so breaking out of karmic patterns, guys, definitely, I feel it's strong today. So that's good energy. I want to know how does the story end, please? Oh, very soon, big changes. Um, they said, um, brace yourself, big changes, surprises, okay? Um, might be dark surprises before they become light, okay? Um, let's see here. I think the dark is that you have to stand up to somebody and squash that darkness and then it becomes light. Okay, if you're questioning what I meant by that. Um, so the ace of wands, passion, drive, 
uh, a gift this is that gift that's come back full circle for you it's it's here and whoever this is they're taking that opportune moment to start something new whether this is love business a better foundation for you honesty authenticity whatever that is for you um what else please what else here uh the four of wands is this a new commitment is this a marriage is this is exciting this is stability my goodness this is the 11 11 card is this the twin flame coming in um wow very nice really um it could be a job could be uh housing building um anything with wands is like work things that you're 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 creating for yourself stability you're creating stability okay uh one more okay thank you the page of swords so research do your own information make sure you're not living by someone else's truth live by your own truth you have a new beginning here and it is available to you with the page of swords it's a matter of you taking action okay but maybe you're discovering a lot of things now that allow you to see you've been devoted to the wrong thing now you're going to put your devotion into the right thing and that is the balance here that the chariot is offering you the good and the bad okay and we are at war we're at war with the um a god versus the devil guys if you don't see it in the world i don't know what to tell you it's there um and maybe you don't believe in god because we've been so desensitized to believing in god and the creator you know?